Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we'll talk about the date time, how we'll find today's date, how we'll manipulate it to find yesterday's days, for example, and how we'll con convert the date uh, time formats in UiPath. It's the same as the thing we use in .NET. So let's get going. First, we'll create a sequence here. Drag it in, then we'll go to variables. We need to create a date time variable to write to, so we could call it uh, tm what time. That's just uh, our arbitrary name. Then we will uh, choose the variable type. It needs to be a date time. I'll drag the browse thing in here. So we'll choose among the .NET uh, types here. Date time, so under M scorelip uh, system, choose date time, click OK. Now we created our variable. We need to assign a value to it, so search for assign here, drag it in. I strongly encourage you to have your own UiPath uh, instance open and do the same thing as I do. Just pause the video, you'll learn a lot from that. So uh, we want to assign a value to our variable here. So let's choose it, tm what time. And let's just find uh, what date and time it is now. We can uh, open a browser and then just click date time search for. Um, we can see that uh, it is uh, Friday the 10th of January uh, 2020 and the uh, time is 16.49. Then we will write it to a message box to see if we got that uh, time when we print it out. So we'll write a message box and then we will just print our variable to string. Like this. And let's try to run it. So we should uh, have a time around this. And it is. Remember that this is the US, uh, the default uh, time, date time format is the US uh, date time format. So it will be the uh, month first, then the day, the year, and the time. We got the 24 hour format going, but uh, we can change that. So um, let's say that we only want the date or only wanted the time, then we can, um, instead of to string, we can choose the show you here like the two uh, short date string like this we'll run it and now we only got the date uh, going for us still in the us format we could uh, you also use the um to short time string then we will only have the time in it works exact yeah the way as the date did here you have the time um, we can also have the too long time string and too long date string in, but we rarely use it, so but you can try it yourself. Then let's say that we want to find yesterday's uh, date and time. Then we can um, let me delete this. We can add some hours. And we can either add some hours, let's say that tomorrow, I'll show that first, and then I'll show yesterday. So we will uh, add days. And to find out tomorrow's date, then we just need to add one day then to string this one and so right now we'll we'll hopefully we'll get uh, the t 11th of January and we'll see that we got it here um, we could uh, to find yesterday's date we need to write a negative number because we need to subtract a day so uh, run this one down. now we'll get the 9th of January that's yesterday's date right so we can even combine, we can also add hours, but we can even combine days and hours. So right now we found we found yesterday's date and we can maybe, let's say we are gonna go, wanna go two more hours back. Then we just uh, write a dot, add, and then, oh, it's not here, but add hours and then add, maybe like go back two more hours and then a dot like this. Now we combine the add days and add hours. Let's try to run that. So now we went back uh, one day and two hours and we see that uh, that's right, like this. 
Lastly, let's say that we um, have an Excel sheet with some dates in, and these ones are formatted in the. Um, you can see it's formatted in the Danish uh, um, date time format. So in here we write the days first, then the month, and then the year. And let's say that we want it in the US uh, time format, so we can compare it to our other UiPath variables strings. I'll make an entire video about this, but let me just show it quickly. So uh, we still, we just have our message box. We can delete this. We even delete our um, date time variable because we just write it directly into the message box. So uh, then we need to uh, have, a, let's say we got a date time for, from, um, from the Excel sheet. Then we need to parse it, um, so we'll write, we can either choose between parse or parse exact. Parse exact uh, is more strict than parse, we'll choose that one. And then we will have to um, write in the, the date from the Excel sheet, so we will just copy it. Then we will, let me, uh, get the message box here, let me open the text over here, we can, because it's more easy to see than this small uh, window up here. So, um, what first we independent parentheses we will write um, the date in, and remember to put it in quotation marks like this, and then to string. And we'll convert it to a string. We need to tell you about oh, actually it's .NET uh, what format this is in, and this was in um, again in quotation marks DD the day first. MM, remember to put in the big M's because uh, big M's are months and small ones are minutes. And then year, uh, like the four year, 2020, like this. And then uh, quotation mark ends. And then we need to uh, put in some um, culture info and we'll uh, type in system. I think we can uh, let this one help us. And then globaliza globalization here. Then the culture info and the invariant culture info here, and then the invariant culture. Again, we will uh, go back to this, and then we need to uh, have it into a string, and now we need to specify what format it should be. Remember, this was uh, the Danish format with the days first and then the month. Now we want the month to be first and the date to be afterwards, so it will be. Uh, um, like this this one will go first and then the fifth and then the 2020 so the format will look something like um, this the month this one will uh, format it to um, the US thing like coming from our Excel sheet this one we will use quite a lot let's see the message box we will see that now it changed so it converted this state this date format to this date format. Uh, there's a lot, loads of a, um, there's loads of, let me just uh, put this one in. There's loads of possibility to convert it. I mean, we can use all sorts. So if you Google and you search for .NET um, date time formats, then I think like in the Microsoft documentation, we will see see that here at uh, all sorts of possibilities like let's say that if we want uh, the whole day, day to be written out then we need to put in four D's we can try that one no we will uh, here so this one will write out the month then the day like in Monday Tuesday whatever click OK then we can run it Here we can see that it worked. I'll make an entire video about this later on, but now you got the idea and you learned um, how to find the date, uh, date time now and how to add hours, subtract hours, days, and so on. That's it for now. Bye-bye.